I have indeed. Look at this, everyone. Look, we found a leopard, a beautiful male leopard walking through the area, and we took a, took a chance. We just heard some impala alarm calling briefly. There was a lot of rutting going on too, so we weren't sure exactly, but it did sound like alarm calls. We just drove off into the bush, and we've managed to find this beautiful male leopard. Let's follow him and see where he goes. I'm so excited because I haven't seen a leopard for quite some time, and to find a male like this is wonderful. So that's great. This is really exciting. And I, I, I still, when, when you find a leopard like this, and, or you listen to the bush and you listen to, um, to the sounds of the, the other animals, the alarm calls, and you find a predator, it is so rewarding. Now, I'm actually not sure where he is heading at the moment, but it just shows you, you know, I would have thought in conditions like this, this, uh, this leopard would probably prefer um, walking on the road where it's not so wet but I think perhaps because because of the um, um, the, the, the alarm calls the impala alarm calls the guinea fowl alarm calling behind us now he is heading towards the main road so we might lose him but he looks like he's scent marking Gonna try to stick with him. So I think stay with us because I'm not sure how long we're going to have this leopard for. Uh, you see, it is heading down towards the road now, um, and I'm hoping we can get through here. This is not looking very good, Craig. Is it? Uh, what do we say? I don't know. Hang on. Can we get through here? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think we can. I don't think I can get through there, everyone. Unfortunately, um, it looks a little bit too steep. But hold on, hold on. Let's see back here. Ah, oh, the joys of trying to follow a leopard. There he is in the road, and I'll get down here easily. Look at that. Oh, beautiful big male. Hold on. That's very kind of him to make his way right out into the road. We're going to get a lovely view of him now before he crosses, hopefully. Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. Watch, he might jump up into the tree. There we go. See, they... This, everyone, is definitely not Hosanna. This is a big male leopard. This looks like it's possibly Tingana. Now, if he walks back this way, I'm just going to reverse. Let me just reverse slightly here because it looks like he might want to come back this way. Let's see if he does. Try and move out his way. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to move a little bit further back. Watch. So I'm just, what I've done is just given him some space so that uh, hopefully he will decide to move past us. Here we go, here he comes. This is definitely not a sign. You can see that very big dewlap. This is an old male leopard and scent marking territorial male leopard. Now, I don't, I don't think this is Tingana to be honest. Um, I don't know. Oh, don't go that way. Please come back this way. Okay, Luis has seen him and says it's definitely Tingana. So that would make sense. Well, I suppose it does make sense, judging where we are. So our plan to just scan around the airstrip worked. And as I said, wouldn't it be wonderful to see a male leopard? We did. We managed to find him. Now, unfortunately, that's crossed into Little Gowrie or Hoffman's, I think it's one of those two properties. So we can't go there, unfortunately. But let's just hang around. Maybe he turns and comes back this way again. However, it looks as if he is. I'm going to see if I can't uh, see if he does come back again. I'm going to stick around there for a little bit, but let's head to Taylor and see how her walk is going. 